Hello designers and welcome back to A Sale by Sketchbook. Before we start this video, I have a very important question for you and I want to ask you what does it mean to be successful in your head? I want you to sit down and think about it. If you want, you can share what you think down below so we can like talk about it okay, and have a nice discussion about it. This video is very different originally because I was invited to my old university that I love very much to give a talk. And the talk was labeled as a success story and this is where the inspiration for this video came from. I felt it was very important to address the word success because it's very strange. If you think about it as a kid, your vision of success or your parents' vision of your success is actually taking your first steps or writing your name for the first time, which I did, by the way, using the juice box on my parents' bed, which is like, I can't even imagine how did they not kill me after that. That's just like a little side, you know, story time. Uh, as you grow older, you go to school, your perspective of success changes again, and then it becomes grades, and it becomes having friends, and having a clique, and it develops. This, our, our vision of the word success is always constantly shifting and changing, and as I got to university, my vision of success, which I was, to be a straight A student, and I've done just that so I I felt pretty successful in my graduation ceremony because when they called me I had that honor roll and I'm just it was it was the best feeling in the world and then success meant a whole different thing after I graduated because I had a dream to work in Ikea and it was my dream job to work in Ikea and I got that dream too so that was a success this is when things got interesting after spending two and a half years working as an interior designer in Ikea, which is a job that I initially thought was my dream job, I realized that my dream changed. I got a couple of people telling me that it was very, very stupid for me to leave uh, because it's a big, big company and because I'm giving up on my dream. However, my definition of success changed again and it meant something else to me. Right now, I honestly am baffled by the word. <laughs> I'm baffled because they used my story in university as a success story or career advising because I don't feel successful yet. And then I realized maybe success is not an end goal. Maybe it's a journey. And I know this sounds like a Pinterest quote or Tumblr quote or something like that, but allow me to continue, please. And thank you. <laughs> We're always taught by the society that money equals being wealthy and having a status and getting to be a CEO of a company. I don't know. It's just like these are the three things that come to my mind when I hear the word success. What if that person that you look up to and you think is very successful is actually miserable, has a lot of issues? Does it still mean that he is successful or she is successful? Not discriminating. I don't know. But thinking about this in depth, made me ask my husband, I asked my sister as well, like, what is success to you? And they all said that if you're content and if you feel like a whole person, that is when you're successful. And I agree. This is the kind of success I want in my life. In this day and age where instant gratification is such a big deal and when people actually look at your subscribers count before they subscribe to you, it's okay, everyone does it, I do it too. I started defining success as these kind of numbers and it's not. By the end of the day, if you're content with who you are as a person, if you're content and happy with what you're doing with your life, if you have a purpose and you are fulfilling this purpose, you're a successful person. And if you believe that you're going to make a difference or make a change or do something with your life, you are already halfway there. So whatever you're doing right now, whether you're an interior designer or not, whether you're starting your business or whether you are in between jobs, whether you are in a job that you really hate or in a job that you really like, take a moment to redefine your success and take a moment to see your achievements and understand that you are successful in your own way. Do not let anyone define success for you. Define it for yourself. And set milestone for yourself your own milestones of what is success to you. Look at your life as an experiment because life is an experiment. And once you start doing that, even the hardest of jobs will start being fun 
and that by itself is a success. So the idea of success as being content and uh, being happy where you are as a person, it has two faces um, because every person is ambitious. Mm -hmm. You know, you have goals in life, you want to achieve them. And whenever you reach to a goal, then you start thinking, okay, what's next? So, and I like what you said that success is actually a journey. It's not actually a moment in life. So maybe chasing that next goal and then the goal after and then the goal after is being successful. And not only basically reaching that goal and being successful. So not being successful for the moment you're in Correct. is actually a good thing. Correct. Um, so I don't think people should look at achievements per se. I mean, if you have something and you're working towards it, and while you're working towards that thing, you're happy and you're content and you, you're very proud on telling people that, oh, I'm working on that thing and it brings you that excitement and it brings you that joy. Will you that? That's success. That is success. Um, otherwise, let's say you achieved something and you ticked your first goal and your second goal and your third goal. Let's say you stop at some point. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? You became purposeless as a person. Which and, and the worst thing that could ever happen. And see, um, I, I, I wouldn't generalize and say it's the worst thing that can happen uh, because people are different. I think we should not look only from like our perspective, but I personally, I can't imagine someone, let's say, not having a purpose. Yeah. I mean, the purpose may be living peacefully, you know, yeah. finding a very, you know, slow pattern of life. Where um, you're actually content every day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's a goal. That's your um, objective in life. Some yeah, people, yeah. So I mean, like some people may be content by living in a small house, let's say in the countryside, with like a small farm, a couple of cows, and there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. It's so peaceful. You're very peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. I'll be releasing the schedule on my social media, so make sure that you follow me on my social media. I've left it on the screen and have a great time of the day wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.